Hello, hello, hello to all of my Leos. Welcome and welcome to any cross watchers as well. You're always welcome. This is for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your weekly reading. So happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining me. All right, let's get started. I'm going to shuffle the cards for you. Let me remind you um, of some wonderful things about Leos. I love my Leos. I love all of my astrological signs, but that is because I know what the high vibrating um, astrological signs look like. But let's let's reiterate some some wonderful things about Leos. Leos are very caring. They um they are very optimistic. They're natural leaders. They're very kind and protective. Protective. Um, they are loyal, they're honest, they're vivacious, and they are attention seeking. And it's not because they walk in a room and demand it. Um, it's their presence, you know, um, they just live a good life. You know, we have some planets in retrograde right now that I want to remind everybody, you know, what the planets that we have in retrograde right now. So keep in mind guys that Mercury goes retrograde this Thursday. So we only have two more days for Mercury going retrograde. The um, astrological signs that are affected the most are the Gemini and Virgo by Mercury going in retrograde. So that means all of the astrological signs are affected by Mercury going retrograde this thir this coming Thursday, but those two signs are affected the most. And again, that's the Gemini and Virgo. But so um, when Mercury goes retrograde, you'll be starting to think about maybe some mistakes that you made, okay? Um, and as it relates to communication, okay? Um, Venus is also currently in retrograde for about another week or so until uh, June 25th, but it would have been in retrograde for 43 days. The signs that have, are affected the most by Venus being in retrograde is Taurus and Libra, okay? And so we know that when Venus is in retrograde, um, primarily you're focused on or you're reviewing matters of money and love, okay? Love could be romantic love, it could be uh, family love, and it can also be self-love. We also have Jupiter um, in retrograde right now. And so with Jupiter being in retrograde, the astrological sign that is affected by uh, Jupiter being in retrograde the most is Sagittarius. And Jupiter will be in retrograde um, until uh, September the 13th which will be 122 days. And so you're reviewing areas um, of your life. You're reviewing your um, belief systems in life. You're reviewing ideals. You're reviewing your visions. Just a lot of thinking, thinking, thinking going on. I'm telling you guys, these planets being retrograde are extremely powerful. Um, Saturn is also in retrograde. So the um, astrological signs that are affected the most are Capricorn and the... Um, cusp Capricorn Aquarius. The, the Capricorns are affected the most, but the Aquarius that's on the cusp, it also affects them the most as well. So again, you're thinking about, um, you're reviewing, you're reviewing, um, relationships, um, that again, could be romantic relationships, could be family relationships, could be self-love relationships. Um, you're thinking about how you approach obstacles in your life. Those are very, very important as well. Uranus is also um, in retrograde, um, um, and that affects the Aquarius the most. So inner freedom is something that you're thinking about. Um, uh, Neptune is also in retrograde until November 29th. That affects the Pisces the most. Um, and then that focuses on your spirituality, your inner tranquility. Um, you're thinking about the visions that you put out there. That's your primary focus. And then also Pluto is in retrograde right now. That's in retrograde until October 4th. And that affects the Scorpio the most. So what I want you guys to do is to, I'm going to try to put this in the description, um, is like where you can go to pull your full birth chart. So you're going to need uh, your birthday, of course the um the time and the the time that you were born and then the location that you were born i think that they you can get an accurate reading without the exact location um but yeah that's you want the most accurate reading because we have more astrological signs in our birth chart than we realize so again this is a reading for leo sun moon rising and venus let's go i'm excited to see oh <laughs> Okay. All right, Leo. 
Okay. So yeah, let's get started. Let's see if we have any major arcanas here. Okay. All right. So the first the first card that we have here, Leo, is celebrate. Get your tribe together and let's go. It's time to go celebrate. Okay. Time to go celebrate. We know that the cups, is, it represents your journey to emotions and creativity. So right off the bat, you're celebrating something. The cards are going to tell me what you're celebrating. Um, maybe not specifically, maybe specifically. So again, if this resonates with you, that's great. But you're celebrating something, Leo, right now. Um, um, immediately what the universe has given me, again, because it's creative, it's creative energy, and emotions energy is there's something in the creative space that you're actually celebrating um like i said a lot of people have gone in they have not only like been in hermit mode but just like really really a lot of introspection um because of this COVID 19 and not every state and i'm speaking specifically in the united states but not every state has gone into phase three where everything is reopened we have the king of, i mean i'm sorry the queen of swords and again this is masculine feminine energy you've come through some things leo look at this this queen of swords represents the air energy it represents intellect and power so you're in a very powerful position that's why you're celebrating right now. So you could have gotten a promotion. Um, but that's that's what I'm getting. Somewhere in your life, you you were promoted. Something something is happening where you are. Um, you've come through like some really rough spots, and so this is what this is showing that you have been promoted um, to this particular level. And look, because see, people can't see under here. The scars, the, the the challenges that you went through just to get to this point. But you're so graceful with it, Leo. Look at you. You got your hand wave, you know, like the, um, you know, kind of like the pageant wave for the feminine um, energy. And, you know, kind of like the, the solid wave for the masculine energy there. Kind of like uh, you've come through some stuff so much so that you have your, you have your sword in your hand, but it's in a resting position. And... Um, yeah, that's a, that's a, you've come through some things, but you're celebrating a promotion. That's what you're celebrating. Look at this three of pentacles. This is your money, right? So this, I want to make sure I get in close right here. Okay. So you're celebrating, you know, teamwork, collaborative efforts. There's just a lot of synergy there, but this is your pentacles. This is your represents your journey to money and wealth. So with the, the, Spirit guides are giving me right now is that we are you're celebrating a promotion. Look at this, Knight of Wands. Wands is fire energy. That's the Aries Leo Sagittarius, representing spiritual spirituality and taking action. So you've done the work, Leo. You've done the work. You've put in the work. You know, you have um done what necessary, what was necessary. Like with the strawberry, um, the lunar eclipse that just passed which was representing people like sort of taking action, like taking classes, um, sharpening their gifts, bettering themselves. Yeah, you've done the work. And look at this, Queen of Cups. This is your your emotions and creativity. You got real creative about um, um, putting the work into yourself, you know, as it relates to your, um, as it relates to your career. And this is what I'm getting. Um, your intuition, you have a lot of compassion, a very, very open heart, um, along with some of the other characteristics that I shared, you know, in the beginning of this reading. But yeah, look at you. You get the whole universe behind you, Leo. I don't think you're really shocked or surprised. <laughs> I'm not. But you have the whole universe behind you and it's a great feeling, you know, but it was your it was your gifts. It was your creativity. It was your um, control of your emotions. It was the grace that you embody, you know, that got you to, to that. And look at this four pinnacles. Your life is in full balance. This is wonderful, Leo. I mean, really it's wonderful. And um, I'm loving this, but yeah, your life is in full balance. So let's see what the card, what, let's see what else the cards have. This is nice, but you're celebrating Leo. <laughs> Celebrate. What's the song? Uh, celebrate good times. Come on. Yeah. 
That's what I'm getting for you. Most High God in the universe, please give me some more information for the Leo. This card just popped out. <laughs> this is, wow. Just reiterating some things. Most High God in the universe, please give me more information for my Leos. Any information that you want to share, Most High God in the universe, please share more information with me for my Leos. Okay, let's get started. Look, Leos, the first card that popped out, and I literally almost jumped out the deck, was is the King of Pentacles. Ooh, it's I'm telling you. When you tap into that energy of who you're supposed to be, mm, 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 look at this. Mm, wow. <laughs> Leo, I can scream right now, really. Okay. Uh, King of Pentacles. Look, look at this. This is you. Sharp. You got it all together. That's why, I, I believe that's why the uh, universe is giving me promotion. If you have not already gotten a promotion, then it's coming. This is what I'm getting. You have, uh, you have, mm -mm -mm, look at this, Princess of Swords. Again, this is masculine, feminine energy, okay? <sighs> I'm excited for you, Leo. You guys have, uh, you guys have been through some things, really. And a lot of people have been through things. But this is specifically telling me that you um, are in a, you're about to get a promotion. This is what this is telling me. And I don't know if you were expecting a promotion. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't have been expecting a promotion. But it's here. Yeah, it's here. This is what I'm seeing. Um, but this person is lively, um, inquisitive and look at the sword. The sword actually, um, represents the air signs, intellect and power. Again, your power. Look, we had the queen of swords here. So this is just reiterating your power. You have your sword here. You and look, this right here represents transition. Six of swords. Okay, so at every level, you're gaining more power and you're gaining more intellect. This is why I know you've invested in yourself and you're either, you either just got a promotion or you're about to be promoted like really, really soon. Cause, and it, it's only going to get better at every level is getting better for you. Again, this represents intellect and power, the swords. This represents Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, but again, transition, three of wands, progression. This is, um, the wands cards are fire energy, represents your journey to spirituality and taking action. You know, you put the work, you, you not only sat down and thought about it, Leo, but you've actually put the work in and you've come through a lot of, you come through a lot of mountains just to get to this progression. This is your three of wands. Again, represents spirituality and taking action. This is for the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, that's you. Eight of Wands, again. Look at this. Just shot through the moon, just shooting through the sky. And this is quick, quick action, too. That's why I know that your promotion is near. Eight of Wands. Again, fire signs represent spirituality and taking action. That's the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Amazing. King of Wands. <laughs> Again, I mean, really, <laughs> I mean, really, look at this. This represents fire sign, journey to spirituality and taking action. This is your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, you all have put the work in. And this is, this is saying to me right now, because you put the work in, a promotion is like literally on the horizon if you have not already been promoted. That's what this is showing me, if you haven't already been promoted. Because you're a natural leader, you're also a visionary, and you have an entrepreneurial spirit. So, um, so it, let's say, if, for instance, if you're still working like in corporate, you know, America, or you're, you're actually working for someone else, because I know I have viewers all over the globe, but not just America, if you're working for someone else. Because you have an entrepreneurial spirit, 
what you bring to an organization is your strength and your leadership skills. And even if you work for yourself, it can the same skills can transfer to working for yourself. And so you're expecting everyone else around you to be just as strong as you are in that area. And that means managing their emotions. Because listen, I got a couple of cups cards here too. Yeah. People managing their emotions. I thought I saw another one here. But yeah, people managing their emotions. People who are um, equally as compassionate. You know, people who are... Um, very similar to you in terms of how you face challenges or what could be perceived as challenges. Yeah. Um, but what, what is it? Where did I just see it? Okay. Yeah. This, this is giving me promotion. This is what this is giving me as it relates to your money. This is giving me a uh, promotion. This is what I'm getting for you, Leo. Hmm. Let's see what the um, Oracle cards have to say. Okay, so these, is, these are the Moon Oracle cards. Let's see what it has to say. The energy is gaining momentum. The energy is gaining momentum. Wow. If you could see these birds just flying high above the mountains, again, they, these are not by coincidence. You've come through the mountains already. You've learned how to fly high above these mountains, and it's a new beginning for you. This promotion is a new beginning for you. Let me make sure I put this here for just a second. Let's just leave this here for just a second. Yeah, this is what I'm getting for you, Leo, is just promotion. Yeah, there's a there's a promotion. Either the promotion is that you're going to be promoted by your company or the promotion is you've been doing the work yourself. And because you are a natural visionary, a leader and entrepreneur, that the promotion is you working for yourself. That's the promotion. Let's see what these um, sacred vision oracle cards have to say let's see what this says harmony mm -hmm. um sounds sounds such as the big bang and simply the movement of air equivalent to breathing as an act of life creation a handmade flute a rattle with crystals a sacred pipe and drum nature's voice expressed through human instruments music rings the bells in the heart it opens you to movement and joy you are in transformative, um, you are in transformation through creativity. <laughs> Find the secret of meditation and inner harmony by being in alert stillness. This is what I'm getting for you. The number three. How many threes do we have here? Yeah. Yeah. Celebration, synergy, progression. Yep, and the number three. Everything is in balance for you. So I'm not surprised that you're getting a promotion. You've gone through, you've come through the mountains. You know, you've come through a lot. And so it's just going to get better and better and better and better. So yeah, this is what I'm getting for you, Leo. I am so excited for you because... Um, with this time of planets being in retrograde and then COVID-19 and all these other things that's going on and people are thinking about all sorts of things, not just relationships with exes, but they're thinking about relationships with family members as well. So I want to put the primary focus on exes. I didn't say anything about an ex in your cards, um, uh, Leo, but um, this is a lot of thinking going on, you know, not necessarily by choice either because there's you know the quarantine and not every place is in phase three of opening um we just have you know first it was you know everybody like telework and you know work from home and social distancing and all these things but um because you've come through some things because you've met you've learned how to be creative with your gifts leo 
<laughs> during the, you know, during the quarantine, um, you're being promoted. That's what I'm getting for you. And this is that I'm sure it feels so good. But again, this is if you have Leo on your chart, you know, sun, moon, rising and Venus. Um, this is a wonderful thing for you, Leo. This is a wonderful thing for you. I don't even know if you all were even expecting, you know, being promoted or having some kind of increase. But what I'm seeing, what I'm getting from the universe is a promotion. That's what I'm getting for you. Yeah. Wow, Leo. Thank you, universe and most high God, for sharing the information with me about Leos for the Leos today, sun, moon, rising. Again, if you're a cross watcher, thank you so much for joining us. We love cross watchers also. Cross watchers also check your charts to see if you have Leo in your charts too, because a lot of people have different astrological signs. It's not just your sun sign. It's just like where the planets were placed at the day, the time, and the location of where you were born. And so a lot of people are affected by a lot of things that's going on right now. All of us actually are affected by a lot of things that's going on right now, especially the planets being in retrograde. Um, but yeah, check your charts, please. But again, this is for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much, Leos. I'm excited for you. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations on your promotion.